Hey guys, so if you've been following along, you know I have these three female Spanish moon moths, but as of yet, no male for them to pair with. These moths only last a few days since they can't eat and have no digestive system, and if they don't mate, they will start to lay eggs regardless. Some species cannot even fly until they lay some eggs to reduce their weight, so today I am collecting the unfertilized eggs. Even the eggs of this species are incredible. It's hard to see from this distance, but they are a beautiful turquoise color. And I'm going to get my magnifier so I can show you close up how unusual they are. In the meantime, I'm going to put these eggs in a small cup to film them. I do always save the eggs fertilized or not. So let's take a look at how stunning these eggs are. The brown rust color you see on them is from the moth scales. But look at the beautiful blue they are. They remind me of robin's eggs or granite with all its speckling. Generally, moth eggs are a single color, but these eggs are as special as the unusual moth itself. I have never seen anything like it. I also save the eggs until they have completely deflated and it is clear they are desiccated and will not develop. I have had one very rare instance of parthenogenesis where an unfertilized moth egg actually hatched. This is not the norm, but it does occasionally happen in reptiles and insects, and with a species this special, I wouldn't mind a miracle. So I will keep collecting their eggs and hoping one of these females survive long enough to meet the males who have not emerged yet. This little lady is just about gone at four days old. Sadly, their beauty is fleeting. And here is where I keep the rest of my cocoons as I am waiting for them to emerge. I have controlled heat and humidity in here, to give them the best chance. And I know I have at least two males in here, so cross your fingers with me. So thanks for watching with me today, and hopefully I will be back with good news soon.